Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. Um, so, today we're going to take a look at and see what is your person here, um, what are they telling others about you, okay? Um, these are going to be general messages, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and see what is it that your person is telling others about you. Okay, the Seven of Swords. The Magician here. Three of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Okay. Your person has a tendency to, I feel like, exaggerate the truth a little bit with the Seven of Swords and the Magician here. I also feel like maybe your person can be um, prone to compulsive lying here. Um, but I feel like they're definitely talking about you, but I feel like some of this talking is not all that positive to be honest with you they could be um gossiping about you they could be um trying to paint you in um, a certain light and trying to make themselves appear actually better than they are i feel like this is someone who might have ghosted you someone who um for a lot of you watching this you've experienced a ghosting episode with this connecting with this romantic energy and what's happened is they're trying to tell their friends like it was sort of your fault and not theirs they're definitely trying to well, they're not taking accountability for their actions, but instead they're trying to make themselves appear um, more heroic and more, you know, more better than they are here. Um, they are talking about you, but as I've mentioned with the Seven of Swords, there's some sort of, there's an energy of betrayal. So I don't feel like this is someone who has the best intentions for you, or I feel like this is someone, to be honest with you, so prone to compulsive lying that he or she is not aware when they are stretching the truth or when they are, you know, fabricating um, the truth here. Your person, I feel like, is is telling others here that they want to come back and then they have a um, they have intentions here to reconnect with you, okay? Um, I feel like your person has also done wrong by you. I feel like on some level they might have betrayed you, they might have broken your trust, or they might have hurt you. But again, I feel like this person is not really taking accountability for their actions, and I feel like they may be trying to get away with it. Maybe the two of you have experienced some sort of conflict here, and I feel like your person here is telling others that, you know, you're not necessarily in the wrong. It's like they're trying to... Um, show them their side of their side of the story and that you know that they aren't um to blame here they're definitely trying to get away with something that they probably should be held accountable for the magician here i feel like your person has um if this is someone who's ghosted you or if it's someone who's pulled away here i feel like your person has um tendencies to um, has sorry in, an intention of coming back into your life so it's very likely you will still hear back from this person or it's very likely this person will come back into your life just be careful because someone who you know pulls away or who goes to you once is more than likely to do it again so just keep that in mind here um, with the three of wands energy I feel like your person is telling others that this is interesting but I feel like there's some sort of conflict or some tension that's going on here and I get that your person feels some sort of anger or some sort of hurt or even maybe betrayal here. This person I feel like is, the energy feels like it's a bit bogged down by something. It feels like it's it's a bit burdened with something, with the stress of something or with the anxiety um, of something here and your person even though they may not be talking to you or they may be talking a little bit they may be like very brief with you. Um, they do discuss you with their friends. Um, and I feel like their friends are encouraging them to patch things up with you, especially with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like their friends are telling um, your romantic energy to fix this, okay? Fix this, fix what they broke here. And that it is sal salvageable and that it can be worked on. Your person has visions for you, has long-term visions for you and for the connection. Your person sees you in their future. So when they talk about you, it's like they make it a point to include you in their plans, okay? And which is quite telling to their friends that this is someone who sees you in their future. So their friends here 
uh, sort of, um, they're clued on to the fact that you are someone who this person sees a future with, and you are someone who I feel like this person just naturally starts to incorporate into their daily life, okay? So when they talk about you, yeah, they may not be saying the best of things here, but I feel like your person is, they've got a bitter brooding energy right now, guys. So I feel like maybe this person is hurt, um, or maybe they've hurt you and they've hurt that you've responded in that way. Um, it, it's 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 a bit strange rather. However, I feel like as I, as I was saying earlier, I feel like this person, even though despite them being in this um, in this bitter brooding space, I do feel like your person is still okay. They still have very strong feelings for you, and I see that this person is still talking about you as though. You know their plans for the future here haven't changed so they're developing plans for the future in mind as they speak here um your person definitely wants to do something i feel like your person here is telling others that they want to for those of you that are doing long distance they have intentions of traveling here of coming out to see you um for others of you i feel like this person he wants to They've got this comfort zone here. I'm seeing a comfort zone and they have to step outside of a comfort zone. This person is a little bit scared to do that, but they're willing to do this for you. Your person here is telling others that there's a sacrifice here that they want to make for you. And that sacrifice involves them stepping outside of the comfort zone, whether leaving their country and, you know, flying out to see you here or driving to another city or state to see you here. I just feel like, yeah, your, your person is telling others that they have... There's a sacrifice or a compromise that they're willing to make. In normal, under normal set of circumstances, they wouldn't do this for others, but for you, I feel like they're willing to make this sacrifice. And the Eight of Pentacles, I do feel like your person's energy, he is trying to, they're trying to fix something. They're also trying to, the message that I get, it's like they're trying to tell others, look, there's two sides to the story, okay? You know, there's your side, but there's also their side. And it's like they're trying to tell um, again, it's like they're trying to tell their side, but in telling their side of the story of what, you know, of what happened, not what really happened, but what, what happened according to them, um, they're trying to make themselves appear like better than they are, or they're trying to make themselves appear in a certain light here. And that's, and that's interesting. They're, they're embellishing. They are. They're embellishing a truth here. I'm just going to give the cards, um, the angel, the answers oracle cards a shuffle here and just see what messages they have here regarding what your person is saying about you. It's up to you. Okay. Listen to your intuition and remain positive. Okay. So your person feels like it's up to you here. So it's it, they feel as though the ball is in your court. Okay. It's up to you whether or not this is actually, whether or not this, this connection is going anywhere, or it's up to you whether or not the two of you decide to keep on seeing each other or the two of you decide to keep pursuing this they feel like it's your call here okay and they feel that strongly listen to your intuition here um some of you i feel like you know that your person is they may not be talking to you but they most certainly are talking about you here and some of you are well aware of that so listen to your intuition because i'm telling you it's um it's being very frank and honest with you here. Remain positive is the message here. I feel like even though your person, as I've mentioned earlier, is in this bitter or brooding kind of energy, or even the, if the two of you are experiencing a sense of tension here, and look, they do say things. They put their foot in their mouth a lot of the times. They do say things that they regret, but at the end of the day, I feel like they, they're quite hopeful and positive that this will manifest and the two of you um, will work out. So they there's... Um, op you know, they tend to remain quite optimistic and positive about the future here, okay? Again, because they just keep including you in their future plans here. It's just, it naturally comes out of their mouth here, your name, okay? Um, so there we go. These are your messages. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.